Good evening, Ramit. Ooh, good evening. <laughs> you know, it's great to have you at last. I've been trying to set this interview up ever since you made your mark in, you know, uh, Nickelodeon and uh, some of the programs on there. And, and, and I've even pleaded, pleaded with your family to let me speak to you. But uh, today we have you. My pleasure. <laughs> uh, finally, we got it in. <laughs> yeah, oh, finally, finally, we connect. You know, you just couldn't make it work uh, before then uh, in terms of timing and so on. But uh, Rami, thank you so much for joining us. Um, tell me a bit more about the film. Um, yeah, sure, Bessie. Thank you. Hello. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, uh, yeah, so the film Little English, it's about a um, dysfunctional family. It's set in sunny Slough, which is very close to us. <laughs> and, um, well, me, because I'm West London, born and bred. Um, and it's about a dysfunctional family. Um, I play the character of Simi, and Simi's a new bride, arrived from India. And um, it's how she adjusts, adjusts to her new life in the UK and on the wedding night her groom does a runner like you gave us you gave such an amazing introduction to the film by the way um and it's um at the heart of this film you know it's a romantic uplifting uh romantic comedy um it will have you sort of thinking about your family it's very British Asian um and yeah what else can I say um there's a, a romance blossoms between her and her brother-in-law <laughs> <laughs> Um, and yeah, lots of lots of laughs okay. and cries and. So, so Ramit, how did you bag the role? You know, uh, from what you're saying and from what I've heard about the film, um, I've not seen it yet, but I intend to. Um, you know, it, it's a huge achievement. Yeah, it's, it's an absolute honour to to be part of this. Um, I just auditioned for it. Um, I went. My agent sort of gave me the the, um, the breakdown, and uh, like any other thing, we were just coming out of COVID, so um, we were sort of excited just to be working and auditioning again because we sort of were in lockdown, was um, couldn't really work a lot, and um, yeah, I auditioned. And funnily enough, I actually auditioned for another part. I auditioned for Sweetie, and um, Pravesh Kumar, um, the director, he he sort of saw my video, uh, my tape, and asked me to tape for um, Simi, and then the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> is the story based on actual events, do you think? Um, or is it just the imagination of the writer? You know, um, are there anything in there which um, somebody might have come across in their <laughs> circle of family, etc.? I mean, yeah, I mean, the thing is... Um Pravesh Kumar, he um, sort of writes, he's been writing for 20 years, he's part of Rufko, um, a theatre company, and, um, you know, he, he writes for the community, and a lot of these, um, from what I know, what he's, uh, it's a lot from his experience, you know, it's about a community in Slough, he is born and bred in Slough, and, um, you know, it's the things he grew up around as well, it's a, it's a very British Asian family, it's the same things, like my family go through, I'm sure your family, you, you'll definitely be able to identify parts of your family life in the film, especially those that are sort of outside of India in, um, you know, third, fourth generation in, in, um, in the UK. And um, yeah. You know, Ramit, we're so proud of you. We are really, really proud, you know, as, as Punjabis, you know, to see somebody like yourself making such an impact. It's a huge honour for the whole community and especially for us because we're kind of, um, you know, connected with you with you and your family. Um, you've, you've already had success as an actress with Nickelodeon's popular series uh, Ride in 2018, as well as Warren, Call the Midwife and most recently Find Me in Paris. That's quite an achievement for a young British Asian actress. Tell us about your journey to get where you are now. Was it kind of easy, smooth sailing, or did you really have to kind of try hard and there were disappointments, etc.? Just, just talk us through how you got to where you are. Yeah, I mean, it's not been easy. It's definitely... And, and plus, the journey's still carrying on. I don't, I don't feel like I've... Uh, achieved much in terms of you know I feel like I'm very at the start um, but I've been um, very blessed to be part of some of the things you mentioned which I'm surprised you knew about so that's really cool um, and yeah it's been it's been tough I mean being um, a British Asian in actor in 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 England sort of working um, it's hard you're you're constantly trying you're trying to prove yourself and and I think. Um, one of the things that I knew I wanted to do was was go and learn the craft, and I think that's 
you know, going to drama school, learning about this, like, what do we do evolving, changing? I still go to, um, even though I went to drama school, I still do classes. And, um, and, and it's hard. We just, I don't we just do it. It's work. It's something <laughs> I love. It's my passion. So it doesn't really feel like work. But, but when these moments, you know, um, the grind doesn't stop because you might see these, um, the projects, that when they come out but it's the struggle underneath it's the every day you know I don't get a holiday um I don't you know I can't remember the last time we were on holiday we're just constantly auditioning trying going to class you know working on our craft it doesn't end no one sees the iceberg underneath the surface of how much like work goes into this um so yeah definitely I'm still on it so I can't even say oh my god this I still feel I'm very much part of still struggling and still trying um yeah, I don't think that stopped. <laughs> yeah. um, was following your passion slightly easy because you do have a famous father who is yeah. in the business, not in your business, but in something very, very related. Tell us more about, um, you know, um, how he might have helped you to uh, fulfill your dreams. Because I'm going re- to I'm, I'm, I'm going to kind of um, um, just say it out loud. You are the daughter of the great Kumar from Hira Group. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, he's just incredible. Like, um, I think it's been really. I mean, I've I've grown up around a lot of creativity, energies, and you know, Papa's always been um, in music, and I've grown up sort of li- being on tour with them. I was lucky enough to join them, sort of like as they've been playing, and um, I just always like in that creative energy and um and he was very supportive he's been very um he did say to me he was like are you sure you want to do this it's not easy you know you're gonna have to like work hard and, and i was like no i will prove myself i will you know i'll do it and um he yeah he's just been so supportive if anything he's really helped to navigate um even tough days like he's never given me a rosy picture of you know oh it's gonna be like this and this and this he's like girl you better work <laughs> <laughs> It must have been fascinating, kind of, um, you know, growing up with Kumar around and uh, and Tammy, etc. All the lads, we've grown up with them, and um, you know, we we've enjoyed our kind of um, youthful years um, listening to their music and uh, talking to them, etc. It's been fantastic. Um, Ramit, you know, your film Little English has been compared as as this kind of next big uh, British Asian movie after Bend It Like Beckham, and look what happened to the two stars in Bend It Like Beckham. Can we and would you be kind of chasing that dream either uh, to the West, Hollywood, or to the East, Bollywood? <laughs> you know, never say never. You don't know where the journey is going to take you. Um, I I just feel very blessed to be working and being part of such amazing projects. And if I can just do that, like for me, um, the ultimate goal um would be to just consistently be working, working on good projects, whether that gets me recognition, limelight, whatever. That's like the byproduct at the end of the day, as long as I'm sort of doing something I love and I I absolutely love acting, I love the craft and I'm evolving in that. Um and, and I'm helping um, sort of our people represent, like represent our people. That's the main thing. Because I know um, looking at even mainstream media, like we don't see a lot of our people on there. And I would love to just break that barrier. Like that's something when I was on Ride and on Find Me in Paris that, you know, one is a Nickelodeon show, one's a Disney show. I was very blessed to be part of those projects. But when I used to watch those programs, I never had anyone that looks like me on there. So for me, it was such a big achievement to be like, let me be that person. Let me just sort of like be in those places. So the achievement for me would be to just break more barriers and just try to represent more. <laughs> and you are now going to be the role model for a generation of youngsters who want to follow in your footsteps. That's a huge responsibility on you. Are you ready for that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I like, like, you know, just try. We, we can just try. Um, and, and if one person can sort of watch something and feel like they've seen someone that looks like them and feel like they've been represented and included, then that's kind of like my job done. You know, I made someone feel and feel like they're included in such a sort of, um, you know, um, a world where we don't really get to see people that look like us. Even Little English, you know, we are the first. British rom-com with two South Asian Asian leads and that's never happened before it's such a big thing um so yeah we're just so 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 grateful to be part of this journey 
any other projects in the pipeline or are you waiting now to see how you know the, how, how this film runs and then <laughs> make your choices well uh, work started um, as soon as we sort of like finished where we were doing other projects and everything um so i start rehearsals i'm doing a, sh- a theater show with um uh, Pravesh and Risco Theatre Arts called Happy Birthday St. 